All right, guys, we're uh, out here in the same place, and we got a uh, a mini line salamander or a Stereoculus marginatus. All right, guys. Well, um, this is these guys usually get probably about medium size. I'm not exa exactly sure on the exact length, but uh, I can imagine, or imagine around three, maybe four inches. But uh, this is what appears to be a juvenile. But this is actually the first salamander to ever bite me. Uh, it didn't really hurt at all because it's so small. Good uh, features on this species is that the tail is flattened, which is aids in swimming. And also, on the underbelly, um, there are uh, many lines, or on the underbelly you can see little lines, which is where they get their name, mini line. But I guess in other specimens they're usually lighter, and you can see all the lines. But, uh, yeah, these guys are probably the same habitat as the uh, carpenter frogs, but uh, just a little bit uh, more uh, um, secretive. Alright guys, well these guys are usually found underneath these logs right here, just like that, and it won't surprise me if we found another one, but uh, yep, um, it's exactly how we find many of the uh, water salamanders like this, I mean these aren't really fully aquatic, but uh, but you see their little feet, they're so tiny. Kind of like a Desmond. It's all about perspective, it's not gaudily colored like Yeah. Color. I wouldn't call it an attractive salmon. No, they're be they're beautiful in their own way, I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see the lines. Well, I'm letting them go. So, uh, yeah. yep, there he goes, burrowing around. I'll probably let him go underneath the log. All right, over there. So, uh, yep, see you guys later.